Welcome race fans to round two of the chase for the Sprint Cup. 12 contenders will battle it out over the next three races to find out who has what it takes to make it to the round of eight. Our first stop is Charlotte Motor Speedway here in Concord, North Carolina, under the lights in prime time, and everyone wants to win in NASCAR's own backyard. It's the Bank of America 500 here at Charlotte, and you're watching the NASCAR playoffs on McBlam Racing. And the pace car is going to make his way down pit road. As we're on the inside of Martin Truex Jr., we're going to lead them to the line two by two. Time to get the second round of the playoffs underway as we're coming to the line. Green flag is in the air. go down into turn one. Ooh, clipped the apron just a little bit there. Got us a little bit loose. That's going to give the advantage to Martin Truex Jr. Kozlowski takes advantage as well. We're going to try going down into turns. Oh, Kozlowski shot the gap. He wasn't clear. And Harvick gets into us and puts us in the wall. Everyone saves it. Oh, Stewart got loose into the wall. Oh boy, real lots of contact happening. We get bumped from Ryan Blaney. We're going to try to stay down on the apron. Car won't stay down. We're trying to stay down on the apron here. Well, another bump from Ricky Stenhouse Jr. So we're <laughs> kind of lapaging the field a little bit there, but... Yeah, we got a big bump from uh, Kevin Harvick. Here comes Stenhouse. Going to pass us on the inside. We're going to kick the crossover move to try to get back around him. Three wide through the quad oval. Down into turn one. And we are not happy. <laughs> we are not happy with the four of Kevin Harvick. Let me catch up to that four car again. Trust me. I'll get back up there. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> Just let me catch up to that four car again. Yeah, like Kevin Harvick kind of really forced the issue down there. And uh, Kozlowski, I guess, thought he was clear, came down. That whole incident started. Ooh, contact with Casey Mears. He gathers it back up. But yeah, that whole incident started when Brad Kozlowski came down a little bit too far. He didn't really give us a whole lot of room on the bottom. Boy, is we really, wow, we're really tight. Really, really tight. Yeah, he didn't give us a whole lot of room on the bottom. That shot us up the track just a little bit. Okay, yeah. nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. it wasn't enough for Kevin Harvick to shove again. his nose in, but he just did. And that got us sideways side. and then caused us to fall back to, you know, 28th, 29th position. As we're trying to make Play it up now. Clear. But man, we, just, we are really tight. Clear up high. Car is not handling very well in turns three and four, especially turn four. Clear right. And as a result, that's causing us to get into, actually, no, one and two were really tight. Yeah, we cannot hold the... We can't run up top because we'll just head straight into the wall. Oh boy, Greg Biffle. Pulled up in front of us. Got. We got to the back of him. Jimmy Johnson currently leading. Jimmy Johnson is not one of the chase contenders. So I'm not too worried about him winning the race. As we're tr trying to work our way around Josh Wise, who's in 21st. Gotta get to the bottom. How about that for the Dogecoin car? Really Alright, come on. Alright. Made that work as we work our way around Logano. We made that one work. Yeah, a lot of times the car just will not. It refuses to turn. Even after we get on the brakes, it just refuses to turn. We got a little bit loose there. Heard the tires squeal just a little bit. Thought I saw some smoke up ahead, but I don't think that I did. 
And Brad Kozlowski is now the race leader. Okay, we don't need him to win the race because that'll lock him into the next next round. And we're trying to lock ourselves into the next round. We're catching up to Jamie McMurray. We're gonna make our way to the inside of McMurray. Go to the low side. Oh man, big contact with the wall of Jamie. Again, that's just the car not wanting to respond. I let off and I tried to go down low, but it just didn't it didn't want to turn, so on the pit stops we're just gonna have to make sure that we yeah, we're just real tight. We gotta make sure we make some adjustments. Oh, man. Go low. Really, really fighting this car. So Roush racing teammates make their way around us. And we're just plowing. Absolutely plowing. Only thing I can think of, actually, is I might have lost my setup. Usually when I transition from day to night, I'll, um, I'll reapply the setup because sometimes it gets lost when you transition from day to night. So that may be the case here. And I might just be driving it according to... Man, wow, we're just plowing, man. But, um, yeah, we may be... It's a good possibility that we lost our setup. It's a good possibility as we're trying to work our way around Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, Jr. is in the wall. Oh, okay. oh, and Boyer gets into us and just puts us up into Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, we're sideways up against the wall. Logano's involved. He's around. Caution is out. Fucking clip, Boyer. I got your ass. There's Logano sideways, absolutely uncalled for. Play that truck, are you clear? The road will be open this time. A lot of cars coming down pit road. Jimmy Johnson, Stenhouse Jr., Reagan, us, Jerry, Jamie McMurray, Paul Menard. Uh, Michael Annette and Jeb Burton are top eight. Everyone else has pitted from ninth on back. I don't know what kind of pitch strategy this is going to be because we're not halfway yet, but I guess a lot of people are pitting for tires. So we're going to restart fourth on the outside lane. As we're coming down to the line, Jimmy Johnson and Stenhouse Jr. will lead them to the line. Hey, Scars down pit road. Green flags back in the air. Oh, Reagan got loose. That's going to give us the inside. We're going to make it three wide in turn two. Here we go, and we make it work. We made it stick. But here comes Jamie McMurray and Jimmy Johnson. Paul Menard also made it through there. But we're still battling the tight race car. The question is... How long will be will be will we be able to hold on? New leader, number eight. The car is not great right now. We definitely do not have our Coca-Cola 600 car. Yeah, we definitely don't have that car. If we had that car, we probably would have pulled away a long time ago. But here yeah, we're kind of bottoming out all over the track. Jimmy Johnson is catching back up to us. I don't think we're going to be able to hold them off for long, but these laps led doing, are just bonus doing. points for us. So we're going to try to hold them off as long as we can, lead as many laps as we can. Yeah, that whole incident there started when Clip Boyer went inside three wide, and we gave him room. He just came up the track and put us up into Dale Earnhardt Jr. and into the wall. And I'm not sure why that happened as we're, as we're wow really really tight we scraped the wall a little bit there yeah so probably heard that we're not too happy with Clint Boyer Clint Boyer is a chase contender I don't know if he was trying to take us out or what whatever it was it didn't work thankfully 
And yeah, we're just they gruelingly are. tight. Here comes Danny They're Hamlin. Hamlin's on fresh tires. The They're looking to the outside. Right's clear. Car approaching and low. yeah, we're just... Car low. We can't drive it as deep as these guys Car can. We'll and they're going to work our their way around us. We fall back to fifth. Clear on the low side. And that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine here. Imagine pit stops will be happening soon. Hamlin slow off turn four. We get back around him. Looking to the outside of Tony Stewart. No speed to really pass him. Jimmy Johnson behind us. Yeah, we're just bottoming out all over the track here. Oh, we got to slow down. Oh, that's going to let... Oh, wow, Jimmy loose off of four. Got it to Kyle Busch, put Kyle Busch into the wall. With three wide, back crack is Brad Kozlowski decided to stand back and... Oh, and Brad Kozlowski puts us in the wall. These guys are being real aggressive. But it's, it's championship contention time. We leaned on Kenseth a little bit there to help us make the turn. But, yeah, these guys are being extremely aggressive. Which, I mean, I know it's NASCAR 15, but it just seems especially that the chase drivers are being real aggressive. The three wide. We get the momentum using Edwards' draft. Casey Kane is now the race leader. And, yeah, we pulled up a... Tried to pull off a slide job there, but couldn't hold it. Gonna pass Carl Edwards on the outside, looking to the inside of AJ Allmendinger. Going down into turn one. But man, we're just so tight. We are so tight. We just can't. We just gotta hope that pit stops are coming up shortly. We just gotta hope we can survive until then. Ooh, Kenseth real tight going into turn three and four that time. Casey Kane still leading the race. There's Jeff Gordon. We work our way around Jeff Gordon. Right's clear. Pull off a little bit of a slide job there. Kill the air on his Far nose and we clear him. Here comes Matt Kenseth. Matt clear Kenseth, out. I believe, was one of the ones that pitted on lap 12. And he's already made his way back up through the pack pretty quickly. There's Clint Boyer. Is there going to be any bad blood? Yes, there is. <laughs> so you give Clint Boyer a big shot going into turn one. Voicing our displeasure. It's pit stop. Uh, cars are coming down pit road. Got an apron a little bit there. We're going high to try to avoid these guys. We're going to wait back around Dale Earnhardt Jr., who unfortunately is not in the not in the uh, among the contenders. Looking inside. I was really hoping for a good battle with him. Car up top, one back. Car high. Tony Stewart has now inherited the race right lead. Clear. Yeah, but I was really hoping for a battle with with Dale Earnhardt Jr. And man, we're just plowing tight. The car just refuses to turn at this point. There's Kevin Harvick. At this point, we're just trying to make up as many spots as we can. Spotter apparently not very happy that uh, Regan Smith didn't let us go. Looking outside. Fight's all clear, bud. Oh boy. Oh boy. Car inside, just looking. Pop the wall again. We're racing side by side with Kevin Harvick. We're going to have to pit very soon. So we're going to let these guys go. 
Here's the spotter telling us we need to pit this time by, and we are going to pit. Try to get down on the apron, slowing it down, and we get... <laughs> Car won't even turn on the apron, wow. Going down the pit road, trying to get it slowed down, and we do. A little bit too much, but we're okay. Okay, let's make this work. Four tires, fuel, and we're going to go ahead and make a track bar adjustment and a wedge adjustment to try to get some more turn out of this car because it is unbearable. <laughs> make it count, boys. Be ready. Be ready. All right, here we go. I think those were our numbers from the setup. I think. I can't be 100% sure. But yeah, we definitely don't have our Charlotte, our Charlotte car, wow. Our Coca-Cola 600 car. Like I said, if we had that, we would have pulled away at the beginning. One of the fastest of the day. Awesome work, guys. Awesome work. All right, so we had a good, nice, fast pit stop. Stay focused. We can do this. You're We're back to 29th. Come on, work your way to the front. And uh, we're going to go ahead and merge. Uh, no cars behind us, so we're just going to go ahead and merge on the track. And try to start picking up some picking up on some track position. The okay, car turns a little bit too much now. <laughs> but that's okay. Once the Colts tires start to come in, once, uh, once the tires start to heat up, we'll get a real feel for the handling of the car now. Or then. Brad Kozlowski, the race leader, still bottoming out. So we missed the setup somehow. We missed the setup somehow. Oh boy, we're not going to get a good entry into turns three and four this time. We do pull off a successful slide job on Eric Almarola. We didn't have a good entry there <laughs> because we were trying to weave in between the cars that were on the pace and the cars that were off the pace coming off a of pit road. Yeah, we need to look at our setup again. We, yeah, we're just bottoming out all over the, all over the, all through the turn. We were trying to get it to turn down low underneath uh, Kurt Busch, but he gave us the room. Realizing that we were, we were the faster car. Now the guys that came down pit road on lap 12. They're going to have to pit again. I don't think that they can make it on fuel. Oh boy, got an apron there. Scraped the wall just a little bit, but we're okay. Oh, oh Larson came down just a little bit. Larson tried to... It looked like he tried to block us, but he wasn't... We're not for position. We're only for track position. And with the fresher tires, we're much faster than he is. So Kyle Busch is currently holding the fastest lap of the race, but I don't know where he is on the map right now. Brad Keselowski is the race leader. I don't know how long he'll be able to hold on, but we're one lap down still because pit stops have not cycled all the way through. But I'm interested to see who's going to try to make it on fuel. That's going to be the question. So we're still, we're just bottoming out all over the place. And I think that bottoming out is attributing to the car not wanting the turn. We're trying to get around Ryan Newman. And Newman takes her line away. Takes the air off her nose a little bit there. Now, hopefully, we're not going to have trouble with Ryan Newman as... Okay, somebody's coming down pit road. Looks like Ryan Newman's going to be that person. Ah. All right, so we didn't have a whole lot of trouble with Ryan Newman, especially since he was coming down pit road. Yeah, I was hoping it wasn't going to be like a Chase Elliott uh, fiasco. But Ryan Newman just didn't want to move out of the way after a while. And it's one of those things like, in terms of that 
uh, in terms of what happened with Ryan Newman and, and Chase Elliott at Dover, in real life NASCAR now, um, I don't blame Ryan for for doing what he did. Um, I know a lot of people think he should have moved out of the way after a while, and yeah, he probably should have. But and, and I know Chase wants to be the nice, clean driver. But I, I gotta admit, after a while, there comes a time where you just have to move a person. <laughs> and you just gotta, I mean, there there's comes a time where you just gotta make that decision. It's like, look, I'm racing for a championship here. I know you're racing for the next round. I'm racing for my first win and racing for a championship. You're nowhere near the guy up ahead. Get out of the way. If I gotta move you, I gotta move you. I don't blame Ryan for not letting him pass or not letting him go, but there comes a time when, you know, you as the driver that's behind them, you got to make a choice. And I know he wanted to be the the, the the clean driver and everything, and not 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 move him out of the way. But I, I feel like you got to make that decision every now and again. <laughs> and you know, there's always time for a caution. Which I'm pretty sure some people were probably expecting. Ryan Newman was probably expecting a caution. So, I mean, it was late in the race. How many times have we seen phantom cautions at the end of the race? So, he was probably expecting it. Which is why I don't necessarily blame him for not moving. However, as you're, you're the guy behind, you gotta make that choice. Like, hey look, I gotta go. So... Either move out of the way, I'm gonna move you out of the way. So, but I know Chase is not that type of driver. So, just what is what it is. Matt Kenseth is now the race leader. He still has not come down pit road after pitting on lap 12. Uh, we have inherited second so far. Ten laps to go. I imagine that Matt Kenseth is going to have to pit soon. If he does it, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> As we've seemed to have got somewhat of a handle on this car. Still having a little bit of trouble through turns three and four. Nine to go. Because the problem is we back it up so much in three that we wind up turning too much. And that hurts our hurts us in four. So like I said, I'm gonna have to look at um, what I did at Charlotte. Wow, I keep saying that. I'm at Charlotte right now. I'm going to have to look at what I did in the 600 and work on the car again so that I this doesn't happen. Eight laps to go. And speak of the devil, here's Ryan Newman as we're tight going into one that time. That's going to allow him to escape for the time being. I don't imagine we'll have any trouble getting around him. So we go really... Alright, we had a really pretty good turns 3 and 4 that time. Clear right. Still a little bit tight. Seven to go. Seven laps to go. Matt Kenseth is still out front. And I believe that's... I don't know if that's Kurt Busch or Kyle Busch behind us. Most likely it's Kyle Busch. He's about 1.8 seconds back. So we still push a little bit, but not as bad. Side's clear. Six, to go. Six laps to go. And I don't believe Matt Kenseth. I don't believe Matt Kenseth is a uh, is a chase contender. So if he doesn't win, I don't think it'll hurt us. I'm sorry, if he does win, I don't think it'll hurt us. Sorry, forgive me guys, I'm really tired. <laughs> I am extremely tired, which has probably contributed to a little bit of my performance during this race. But I'm really tired. Um, it's been a very long week. Uh, and... I've been averaging, I think I averaged um, about 
Before, as of recording this race, I think I averaged about nine hours of, of sleep for the week. Like the entire week. <laughs> um, it's Saturday right now as I'm recording this. So, um, Monday through Friday, nine hours of sleep. I want to say, I, I think that was about as much sleep as much sleep as I got and I'm just I'm exhausted <laughs> and I knew I had to record this race because I didn't think I was gonna get up early on Sunday <laughs> as you're seeing this and record this race I didn't think I was go. gonna do it I was pretty sure I was just gonna sleep in and just be like all right because <laughs> we're three laps to go Matt Kenseth has not pinned it yet Matt Kenseth is going to try to make it. And I think if we... We're catching him, so he's definitely conserving fuel. Clear right side. Two to go. Yeah, two laps to go. I don't know if Matt Kenseth is going to pit. Can he make it? Now this is obviously a fuel glitch, but this is going to be pretty interesting if he makes it. We're running second to him, but yeah, if he pits, we, we, we've got this in the bag. But he's not pinning. White flag in the air for Matt Kenseth. We're working our way around Ty Dillon. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Matt Kenseth is in turns three and four. Will he make it? And off turn four, he's going to go the distance. Matt Kenseth wins the Bank of America 500, and we're going to come home in second. Way to get it done, man. Really great race today, driver. Really great race. You got to be happy with a top five finish. All right, guys. So here are the race results in an unbelievable upset fuel mileage crazy win. Matt Kenseth wins the Bank of America 500 here at Charlotte with us coming in second. Kyle Busch coming in third, logging the fastest lap of the race. Brad Keselowski in fourth. Casey Kane in fifth. Clint Boyer in sixth. Tony Stewart in seventh. Eighth is Danny Hamlin. Ninth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And rounding out the top ten is Martin Truex Jr. So, I believe we all finished one lap down. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kenseth basically glitch lapped the field. But anyway, <laughs> not taking that win away from him. We see Kevin Harvick here the rest of the field. Pick out your favorite driver. 11th is uh, finding off, trying to find all the chasers here. We have Jimmy Johnson, 11th. 13th is Kevin Harvick. Um... Stenhouse Jr., 25th. Ryan Newman let us go. I was worried about that for a little bit, uh, especially with the problems that Chase Elliott had in real life. Austin Dillon finishes 33rd. Not a good not a good finish for him. Ryan Blaney, 35th. Not even worse. They had 43rd in last place. Three laps down is Jamie McMurray. So how many finish, people would have actually finished on the lead lap had Matt Kenseth <laughs> not fuel mileage the crap out of every one of us? Uh, let's see. All right, so 20 cars. 20 cars would have finished on the lead lap. That's pretty par for Charlotte, so not bad. All right, guys, and here are the point standings. We are in the points lead, one point ahead of second place, Kyle Busch. Brad Kozlowski is in third. Clint Boyer is in fourth. Fifth is Tony Stewart. Sixth is Denny Hamlin. Seventh is Martin Truex Jr. Eighth is Kevin Harvick. Ninth is Jeff Gordon. Tenth, Greg Biffle. Kurt Busch is in 11th. 12th is Ryan Blaney. And the rest of the guy, these guys are outside of the excuse me, outside of the chase standings. And as of right now, if we were to go into the third round of the playoffs, uh, Kevin Harvick would be holding the final spot. Uh, he is four points ahead of Jeff Gordon. So Jeff Gordon has to make up some time if he wants to get in there. So does Greg Biffle and Kurt Busch. Um... But yeah, a lot of these guys are on the bubble, but it's only the first race. We still have two more races to, uh, we still have two more races for these guys to make it in.
So yeah, guys, not gonna lie, Ken just made us eat our words there at the end. <laughs> um, uh, you probably guys didn't hear it. You'll hear it when the uh, radioactive um, starts coming out in the uh, in the off season. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> he made us eat our words. What I had said in the beginning is let's show these Toyotas how to do it <laughs> in round two. And yeah, Kenseth kind of uh, made us eat our words there. <laughs> uh, I know it was a glitch, but still, it was the fact that he, he made it that whole, whole race. So basically, when he pitted on lap 12, all the way to lap 50, he made it. And there's no way. <laughs> there's just no way that he can do that, but... Anyway, uh, I'll accept the second place finish. We're still the points leader. Uh, we're still up there in the chase. We just got to make sure we survive the next two races and try to lock ourselves in at Kansas. Don't know if that'll happen. Uh, we did pull off a miracle win last season. I don't know how that will go down in the second season this season. I don't know how that'll go down this season, but... Um, it'll be interesting, you know, and like I said, you never know how these races are going to go, so <laughs> it pays not to talk smack in the beginning. <laughs> like I said, no, you guys didn't hear that yet, but you will hear it later on for the uh, Radioactive series, so that will resume. I know I haven't done those in a while, but I'm keeping all of them, keeping all the replays and stuff like that, so I, I am going to release those just when I have time. So, um, so yeah, heading into Kansas, uh, let's hope we don't have any... Um, any issues like they did in 2015 <laughs> uh, let's just hope for a nice clean race exciting race and uh, I started to get my handle a little bit in at, at Charlotte it's like the car came to me after a while it was excruciatingly tight I don't remember it ever being that tight ever but it was excruciatingly tight like I couldn't turn it whatsoever and I was trying I was trying so hard and it just couldn't do it and after in the long run after the pit stops after green flag pit stops car came to me so hey um i'm gonna have to just kind of take some notes and remember that for for future reference but um but yeah guys uh that's gonna be it for this race i'm not gonna talk too long uh, i'm not feeling too well actually so maybe that contributed a little bit to the um <laughs> lack of driving skill but um, or lack of being able to handle Charlotte, but um, yeah, I'm not feeling too well today. Just gonna try to take it easy for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in to McGlam Racing on McGlam Entertainment, where we try to bring a little enjoyment to your day every day. If you enjoy these races, I do them every week following the NASCAR season, and I will see you at Kansas.